Welcome to the first episode of Data Science and AI Weekly. My name is Manav and I'm going to be your host for this series of podcasts that we are launching on Data Science and AI. And the whole uh, purpose of this podcast is essentially to keep you tuned to what is happening in the world of data science, to also get you started in the field of data science and to also answer any questions that you would have about getting uh, into a data science career, what is happening in this world, uh, and what essentially you should be doing to become successful in this space. So let's start with our first episode by looking at exactly what the world of data science is and why this has become such a big hype lately. So let's go back, first of all, to what data science is and why this has become such a hype. Now, for the starters, data science is a, a space or is a field in which is an amalgamation of computer science, statistics, and domain. What this means essentially is data scientists are using all these three fields to solve business problems. Now, what does that mean? Essentially, what data scientists uh, do is they run experiments, which is what the science part is, on a particular business problem to get a particular result. Now, the important question is that why this field has become such a rage and why this has become such a big hype and why this does not exist five, 10 or 15 years back. Now, what you'd be surprised by is that the underlying concepts behind data science, which is a lot of maths, for example, for machine learning, they already, it already existed decades back as well. For example, uh, what you'd be surprised by is that the term machine learning was coined, learning was coined way back in the 1950s itself. But what has changed over the last few decades is that because of the rise of computation and because of ready access to a lot of powerful data science uh, tools and packages, now it's people like you and me sitting in our homes who can do data science as well and we don't have to worry about the getting lost in complicated code. So essentially the power of computation is available to us, the power of tools is available to us, but more importantly the food for data science or the raw ingredient for data science which is data Earlier, it was not easily accessible or available. Now, thankfully, we have tons and tons of data, right? And data access is one of the reasons that why organizations now are focusing on data scientists, training a lot of data scientists, and essentially getting value of this whole area of data science. So that's how we got into the space, right? And that's why this space has become such a huge hype. Now, the question is, what is the future of data science, right? And that's a question I'm sure a lot of you would have also been thinking about that when you're looking at entering this uh, field, what does this field's future is about? So let's look at it through some of the trends that are underlying this field. And there are essentially two key trends. Data will continue to explode. What, what do you think? Will it or will it not? Of course it will in the coming decade as well. And because of this explosion of data, you will require people who can analyze this data, clean this data, who can build predictive models out of this data. And that's why data, and that's why data scientists will have a great future from a career standpoint. And the second point, important point is that automation. Automation is one word that I'm sure that you must be hearing again and again. And one of the key things that data scientists do is they automate things. For example, if you're working as a data scientist in a bank, one of your tasks might be let's automate credit card fraud detection. And that's what a problem you will be working as a data scientist on. And you will continue seeing more and more of these problems in different industries over a period of time. And automation is one thing that will keep data scientists relevant. And from a career standpoint, that's why uh, the future is uh, very, very bright, right? What will change, however, is the technologies being used in this space, right? Couple of years back uh, when we started in this field, 
R, uh, which is a tool for data science, used to be a big rage. Now in 2019-20, everybody is talking about Python. After a couple of years, maybe there is some other tool which solves the problems that data scientists face, maybe in 2025. So the tools will change, but this field is what it will be what it is right now it will continue being hot so that's what is has been the journey of this field over the last couple of decades and what it is going to look like in the next couple of decades as well so this was the first episode of data science and ai weekly i hope you love this episode the goal of today's episode was just to give you some underlying trends in this space and uh, if you have any questions, if you have more thoughts that you have now gotten after listening to this podcast, uh, leave your questions in the comment section. And if you want us to cover us to cover any particular topic that you would want us to cover in data science and AI, just drop in your topic in the comment section and we will be happy to take that topic up in another episode of this podcast. Thank you very much for listening. See you in episode 2 of Data Science and AI Weekly. My name is Manav and look forward coming back on this podcast with another episode.